assalamu alaikum class in this lecture we will discuss the concept of revision of life of an asset this occurs when a company revises the estimated useful life of an asset during its usage for example if an asset was originally expected to have 10 years useful life but after some time the company realizes that it will actually last for 12 years or maybe uh, eight years, they would revise the remaining useful life accordingly. The same case is true with the estimated residual value. During usage, the company may change its residual value just like estimated useful life. But one thing must be remembered that this change affects the calculation of depreciation in future periods only means it does not require adjusting the depreciation that has already been recorded in the previous years. So let's discuss it from the book Financial and Managerial Accounting by William Zaka Bettner and we will cover uh, exercise 9.6. So I'm going to share with you the Excel sheet here it is and the data that is given includes straight line method of depreciation is used by the company. The company purchased a machine on January 11, 27, 2007. The cost of the machine was $90,000 whereas uh, the estimated useful life was 12 years and residual value 18 thousand dollars after 2011 almost five years of the experience with the machine the management decided to devise the estimated life from 12 years to 20 years so the company is basically increasing the estimated useful life from 12 years to 20 years no change was made in the residual Value uh, estimated residual value previously it was 18,000. Now, after the revision of life, it is again the same that is 18,000. The revised estimation estimate of the useful life was decided prior to the recording of the depreciation expense on 31st December 2011. So, this means that uh, there is no uh, depreciation uh, has been calculated for the year 2011. What are the requirements? Prepare journal entries. Journal entries are required. And this is the format of journal entries. In the chronological orders means date-wise, beginning with the purchase of the machinery. Uh, the company has purchased the machinery on January 11, 2007. And then uh, depreciation expense from 2007 to 2011 so this was the requirement so first i'm going to record the entries uh, the machine was purchased on january 11 2007 machine was debit because the company purchased the machine by paying cash, so that's why cash is on credit side. How much amount? 90000 Here it is given $90,000. So the cost of the machine was $90,000. Here, dollars, $90,000. $90,000 cash credited. Then the recording of depreciation on... December 31st at the end of the 2007, then 8, then 9, then 10, and, off, and also then December 31st, 2011. So the entry, is, entry remains same throughout the period, which is depreciation, expense debit, and accumulated depreciation credit. So this entry remains same. The, uh, how we will calculate depreciation expense? 
depreciation expense on a straight line method will be cost minus residual value. So we have cost, this 90,000 is our cost and 18,000 is our re residual value and 12,000 is the useful life. So cost is 90,000 minus residual value 18,000 divide by useful life which is 12 years so divide by 12 years so annual depreciation would be 6000 per year so we have made a change change in 2011 so before 2011 the depreciation remains same $6,000 and $6,000 for 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011. In 2011, the amount will be changed after the revision of the useful life. So here it is 2007, so date is changed, 2008, then 2009, then 2010, and then 2011. In 2011, we will calculate a revised depreciation expense. So... In 2011, the life has changed from 12 to 20. So at this date, first of all, we will have to calculate the book value. So book value of that asset will be cost minus accumulated depreciation. So cost is... 90,000. So cost is 90,000. And we will deduct depreciation 6,000 per year depreciation. And how many years? Four years. We have already charged four years depreciation. So the book value will be 66,000. Uh, so this is the book value. Now calculating uh, new depreciation. So new depreciation, depreciation expense, which is revised depreciation. Whenever we revise depreciation or we revise the life or the residual value, then we will have to calculate the book value at this date, which is 66,000. So calculate new depreciation we take book value instead of taking cost we take book value which is 66000 then deduct residual value the residual value is same 18000 other uh, if it was um, not same or it has changed then we take the change value divided by useful life so 20 is the estimated new useful life and in 20 years we have already used asset for four years. So 20 minus four, it should be now 16 years. So the new depreciation expense would be 3000 per year. So this is the new depreciation after the revision of life. So now from 2011 onward the depreciation the new depreciation would be you can see here it is three thousand dollars so three thousand dollars so in this problem basically we have calculated book value on the date when uh, the life was revised and then calculated new depreciation and you can see that the new depreciation expense is applied on 
the date when the life or the residual value has changed and from that date onward this will this will this change will apply on uh, future dates whereas the previous depreciation remains the same it will not be changed so that's it from this lecture take care class